peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. Once you speak correctly to yourself, then the shift happens. So I've actually noticed this happening in my life tremendously. I've hit one of my biggest months so far <laughs> in business. Um, let's just say that it's over 10K. And I am incredibly grateful. And I am in awe, actually. actually <laughs> like, I'm in awe because I, you know, I manifested this. I put in the work to manifest this. And with this video, like, I kind of just want to kind of make this like a podcast. You know, that's why I got the nice mic. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to kind of ramble on a little bit and show you how I was able to transform my life because I think it's really powerful I think the most one of the most important things that you can do in your life is to just take control of your own life like actually do everything that you can to make success in your life inevitable so this is a new mantra that I've been going by is to make success inevitable. And so I, I've also been living by this quote by Gary V for for years now, uh, probably like five years now, six years, maybe um, seven even. Uh, but the quote is to put yourself in the best position to succeed. So I, I had that wallpaper on my phone for the last six years now. And um, I really live by that. And I think that you, what you need to really do is put yourself in the best position to succeed and do everything it takes to succeed because, and here's how, here's how. So affirmations are, are one part of the equation, right? Affirmations is a huge part of the equation. But I also think one really simple thing that you can do, and <laughs> I was just talking to my wife about this in the uh, at a restaurant the other day, and it's just like positivity. Like it's actually so simple, but this is why I call my fans the optimists. So my fans, you know, they're, they're actually called the optimist. So um, that's something I actually need to reinforce a little bit more. I've been taking, I've been taking kind of um, somewhat of a hiatus with uh, you know the music and stuff, and just the whole uh, going ham at uh, obvious because I've been building this business, which you know has been really paying off. So that way, um, you know, my goal is to ultimately. My goal is to ultimately hit 50k per month, 100k per month, okay? Maybe even more. Probably probably even more just because it's fun. Because it's fun and it's fun to strive for something. It's really like the the pursuit is so so fun. And just enjoying the journey of the pursuit, the process is is insanely fun but if you're not enjoying the process of of you know trying to achieve something then you're gonna have a really really bad time so then it might not even be worth it like if you're just trying to achieve this destination and you and you can't you can't just take time to appreciate the process and the pain the struggle then you're gonna have a really hard time you're gonna end up realizing that you wasted your life that's what i really think but my fans are the optimist and i think it's it, and it's it's because of this you know the optimist because there's really two ways of looking at life and i i was watching netflix with my wife the other day and uh someone was like i'm a realist and I was just like, we looked at each other like, what? Like, that is the lamest thing. That is the lamest thing to call it. I feel like to call yourself a realist. Like, what is that? Re being a realist? That 
makes no sense to me because it's either you're positive or you're negative and that is your reality you're either positive or negative and that is the reality that you're creating for yourself so i choose to be positive i choose to make positivity my reality so that way i am quantum leaping to more positive outcomes more positive parallel alternate realities in my life or you can choose the negative route and you can choose to go into more negative alternate or parallel realities in your life right so it's either it's literally a or b like it's either left or right yeah it, it, like positive or negative it's a plus sign or a minus sign like that's literally how <laughs> that that's how you know at an atomic scale like life is structured and i really feel like um how how can you there there is somewhat of an in between but it's like what is your north star is it positivity or is it negativity what is your what is your default mode and you have that's actually something that you can have control over you can let it take control over you or you can let it or you can control it as your natural default positive or negative way of being if you are constantly you know if you've been constantly just taking the easy easy way <laughs> and being negative i feel like being negative is kind of the easy way if you're just taking the easy way and you're being negative then that starts to like emotions get they lock into your body emotions lock into your body and your consciousness so if you're constantly wiring your brain and your body to be in that state to react in a negative way you're going to just keep having this feedback loop of negativity so you got to do everything you can to break out of that negativity in my opinion if you want to have an amazing life or you're achieving your ultimate potential peace oh please keep your mind at ease it's obvious then you'll choose the positive route right you'll choose the positive route and one way of actually deciding to choose the positive route is affirmations affirmations is an incredible way to kickstart your your path to positivity being an optimist okay so i did i made that video not too long ago about how <laughs> the 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 hook was stop affirmations because what i ultimately wanted to get to was to yeah i'll get to this i'll get to this but i'll get to i'll get to explaining that okay but affirmations are an incredible way to kickstart your default mode into positivity so i really do believe in affirmations because they've taken me to such great heights like i'm like i have my own business i'm work i work from home you know, I, I can make time for myself to make these YouTube videos, which is sick. I, I can make some time for myself to go outside into nature and walk around, which is amazing. Um, and just to enjoy nature. And I also have the opportunity to just go hard, go grind on my business and uh, manage my team, which is so fun, actually. Manage a team and, you know, have a, yeah and deliver amazing results to my clients which is also really empowering cuz some of the content we're make the content we're making is literally changing lives and it's saving lives especially with some of our clients like literally saving lives so it's really really impactful the kind of work that we're doing at Puzvi my media company and yeah it's it's wild to think that you know here I am in 2023 um i finally i surpassed the 10k mark this month and yeah it was like a year ago over a little over a year ago i made that video <laughs> that was my it was like my game plan to achieving 10k per month and it's cool it's like hey, we here baby we here let's go let's go um and affirmations definitely played a a key role in all of this because affirmations 
gave me the confidence to to achieve to strive for more right to strive for more to have big audacious goals and to just go after them every single day see what i love about affirmations and what is so powerful about affirmations is that you're aligning your whole being you're aligning your whole being and your decision making every single day by having affirmations so if you've been falling off of affirmations if that's something you've been falling off of let's bring it back let's bring it back right now if you're listening to this bring it back please peace out please bring it back okay bring it back (laughs) cuz yeah I've taken uh, yeah I've taken Like I made that video where I was saying to stop affirmations because, yeah, I took a little bit somewhat of a break. You know, I did my main affirmation of I've still always been doing my main affirmation of thank you, God. Thank you, universe. I do that every single day. I've been doing that for the last like I think like four years now or something like that. Like I I can't I don't even know like the timeline. I think somewhere around there. Uh, But. I'm ch- I'm trying to I'm living in a, a timeless state. That's how I, that's how I'm seeing life. Yeah, so I, I'm trying to live in a timeless state where um, I'm going in between dimensions. You know, I'm trying to tap into those alternate dimensions, ultimately because you know when you're when you're in that state of imagination and when you're in that state of visualizing, you're you are moving out of the third dimension right the third dimension of time and space right you're moving out of that you're moving out of the third dimension when you get into these states and that is what helps you tap into parallel realities right so affirmations are a really powerful component to achieving your ultimate self because you now start to fire and wire rewire from a positive light you're starting to tap into that ultimate reality every single day and i've literally noticed this like affirmations every single day it's like when i'm writing in my journal like i have a journal right here and i write in it every single day you know i'm writing this every single day my my affirmation journal writing this john every day because if i'm writing i'm if i'm I'm writing my affirmations every single day i'm putting myself in the best position to succeed right i'm making i'm i'm creating my own luck essentially like this is how i kind of see synchronicities is like the fact that you're like your your whole sphere your whole like your whole energy is on this certain dimension that you're tapping into things outside of you you know like the double slit experiment start to work themselves work in ways magic like literally like magical ways that that create these serendipitous events these synchronicities so by having these affirmations you, you it's like you're you're setting off things in the world to to literally happen in your favor and by having and by doing this as well all the cells in your body start to you know they're firing they're communicating on this on the certain dimension of whatever your ultimate reality is that you're tapping into like you're 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 starting to go into that state right so I think it's so powerful to have the journal, you know, you know, journaling every single day. If that's something that you're not doing, then please, 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 please take the time every single day. It takes literally a few minutes to just write down all the all the aspects of your ultimate reality and writing them as if they've happened, saying thank you God, you know, being really really appreciative, grateful that it's already happened. And to say that it's even happened, uh, to write that it's happened in the past tense and writing from that perspective of, 
you know, it was a, it's a memory, right? Because I find that the more I'm doing this, it's like um, I'm getting images in my head. Like I start, I start without even trying. Like I'll get the images in my head of this, of the success, right? And it's like, isn't that image in my head really just the future? I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing into the future, because literally. The affirmations that I've been doing have come to life. So many of them. Like, I got married. Like, I met, I met my dream, my partner, like my soulmate. Years, seven years ago. I met my soulmate seven years ago. And that was all because of, like, I really think that was all because of affirmations. I was, I was really trying to manifest my dream partner. And then a few months later... You know, somehow she popped up on my Facebook. I don't know how, but I messaged her and everything started from there. Everything started from there. You know, I, you know, left. I I, I, I was laid off because of the C thing um, in 2020. And it was like such an amazing thing because my my. My affirmations were around me leaving, living my dream life. So I started becoming a music engineer. I started making money right away from that, right? And then the agency thing, the whole business thing, started making money from marketing, right? And now I'm at this, I'm at this point, like the six-figure mark now with my business. So that's really exciting. Because if I didn't have these affirmations, maybe it would have taken me, maybe, maybe you know, I would not have had the confidence to actually, I may not have have, I might not have had the alignment to actually go after this day in and day out, right? It, may, it might have taken me much longer to achieve this because every single day I've been reminding myself of these you know, the big goals and, and reciting to myself that I've already achieved these things and I'm so grateful for them. And not only that, one part of the affirmations that I think is also really critical is saying why it's so important to achieve this amazing goal, you know, like 50K per month or 100K per month. Like, why is it so important? And for me, it's so important to uh, to be achieving, you know, pretty, you know, re remarkable financial abundance is because I just want to take care of all of my loved ones, my wife, to the best that I can. Like, I just don't ever want money to be a thing that is something that we worry about. Never, never, you know? And I want to be able to give back to my parents, give them, you know, the best trips, give them the best um, experiences they can achieve, you know. And I, and I also like with with financial abundance, health is a big thing, too, because, you know, to, to have good health, it's, it actually requires you to have a lot of money. It does. Um, yeah, sure. You can you can have a, a farm and you can grow all your you can grow all of your organic food which doesn't i mean it does maybe require some upfront capital but yeah i guess that's like a, a that is a cheaper alternative to actually having great health but like i'm not trying to have a farm here right now <laughs> like I, like yeah we have a garden yeah we do have a garden um, and I think yeah, ultimately it would be great to have like a farm, but um, I wouldn't want to be managing that farm. I don't think so. <laughs> so maybe I, uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> ultimately, like if you got to pay, if you have to pay for treatments, you know, you got to pay for testing and all that, like it requires money, like, and so and that's just one aspect of it, you know, of why financial abundance is important is important for me. So, like, yeah, I want to own land. I want to own more land, and and to have, you know, 
excuse me. I want to have great trips, travel around as well, and be just just not ever worry about money. Like I just want all my my family, my loved ones. I just want all my loved ones to be taken care of. So I think having that why is so important. Having that why is extremely important because if you don't have the why, then you lose a big driving force. So when you're not motivated and if you don't have your why figured out, you're you're not going to do the work. You're not going to do the work. You're not going to be able to do the work. So having that why is something that enables you to to really to to go after it even when you're not motivated. To give yourself the good habits that will enable you to actually achieve what you want to achieve. If you have that why and it is like life or death to achieve this to achieve this why, to achieve this goal, then your habits, your bad habits will start to melt away. So, like that that's been the case for me, the, like at least in my in at least in my experience, having this life or death goal and my why for everything i do not really allow myself to have bad habits bad habits melt away for me personally so if you in case you do have certain bad habits and you know you're really struggling to to achieve Maybe it's because you don't have a strong enough why. So, the affir- so affirmations are really, really critical for achieving. And one thing that I've literally just redone. So I ha- I used to do. I used to rec- I would record affirmations, upload them uh, to SoundCloud like over a gamma hertz uh, instrumental, and I would listen to it, listen to it over and over again on repeat just all throughout the day of my affirmations and i achieved it like one of my affirmations jay was like saying i remember you had uh, right in front of your door the a card that said to that your goal your affirmation was to achieve 5k per month and it's like yeah i've like way surpassed way surpassed that so I think it's so important to just have that alignment every single day because that's what crafts your decisions because every like everything you do is a decision everything you do is a decision right so it's like what kind of decisions are you going to be making if if you're aligning if you're aligning yourself every single day you will start to go into a default mode of decision making that is from your higher self you start going into default mode of making decisions from your ultimate self, your ultimate reality, the reality where you've achieved your potential. Now, I think that's so, so critical because you can either make the right decision or the wrong decision, right? And that is definitely something that is that has leaped me, quantum leaped me into this dimension, this reality right now. So one thing I've, I've, I did yesterday was I re-recorded new affirmations and now I got, now I'm, now I'm listening, I'm going to be listening to my new affirmations on repeat because, you know, things change. So things have definitely changed since my last affirmations that I recorded. Like I'm aligned somewhat on a new, somewhat on a, a different path well it's along the same path but you know you know how you know how rivers and tributaries go they you know they they merge and they go off so that's where i'm at and i think uh if you haven't tried that definitely definitely give that a shot because now it's like i'm i'm my future self is speaking to me every single day and if i hear that constantly constantly my future self speaking to me 
Do you think I'm... Am I not gonna achieve my goal? My future self is guiding me every single day because I have these affirmations that I'm listening to, right? So, like, I also have I also have a, a goal card, which Bob Proctor talked about, is to have a card where you write out your affirmations or some of the, like, the big, the big, big, big picture affirmations. And um, I keep that in my pocket now. So I, I, I used to do that. I used to do that years ago daily i had my uh i had my goal card and i would carry that around every single day but yeah for for uh, for years i've stopped doing that and i'm back <laughs> i'm back so i made a new goal card and i have my big goal uh and i have my why on it and i have a few uh i have a few ways of getting it speed efficiency leverage so i have that on the back which is it's like one of the ways to achieving the goal right and so yeah try that for yourself as well ha creating a, a goal card where you have your where you have your big goal you have the why underneath of it and um and maybe you add a few things for how you're going to achieve it. So even if you don't know the exact way that you're going to achieve it, just write like a few words. May I mean, if maybe maybe you're not aligned enough on the path actually and maybe maybe then actually don't <laughs> as I'm thinking through this, maybe don't write the why's just yet. Until you get further along in your path, maybe then you'll you'll get a better idea of how to actually achieve it in a few words. So I'm just saying just a few words that are like, you know, that click for you. If you do, if you already, you have a strong inkling that you have a feeling, you know what that is, then maybe go ahead and put it. But uh, I think, I guess for starting out, if you've never done it before, if you feel, um, yeah, if you've never really done it before, maybe just have the goal and the why. And that should be enough, really. And just have that in your pocket every single day. So it's like every time you every time you feel it in your pocket or you touch it, right, you are reminded again. Your cells are communicating at the speed of light, essentially. Um, I forget. It's like you, the, the speed at which your, your cells are communicating are at the speed of light. And I had this, I had the source of it on one of my Instagram posts. Um, I'll have to find that. Uh, but that's, that's, that's a crazy discovery. So when you, you're reminding yourself, okay, you got the goal card, right? You have that, you have that in your, your pocket and you know, you're constantly reminded, reminded of that. You have your affirmations that, that are your future self essentially speaking to you and you're journaling every day and then on top of all that you say you say some affirmations out loud every single day one one just one foundational affirmation i always say is thank you god thank you universe for this beautiful life that is just the signature of gratitude right there in that in that phrase um, so, you know, that's just one of them. But if you're also saying and thinking affirmations on top of all these things, then you're, you're setting yourself up for success. You're making it inevitable for you to achieve your goals, right? <laughs> Excuse me again. <laughs> I had some coffee before this. So the goal is to make it inevitable for you to achieve success. And success can be whatever, you know, success is different for everyone, but make it inevitable for you to achieve your ultimate self. And one way you can do that is affirmations. Okay. Once you get the affirmations in, in place, then you, then you start developing the inputs that make it inevitable. It starts getting clear on the actual things, the activities that you have to do to make it inevitable. So in that video, I said, stop affirmations. Essentially, I said, focus on the inputs that will make it inevitable. 
for you to achieve your goal because I got already a huge baseline by doing the affirmations and I achieved a lot from the affirmations and then I discovered that there were inputs like I, I was at one like uh, I think what two one year ago like or two yeah two years ago um, at around this time like um, I you know I was yeah like December two years ago I was in a dark place right and yeah two years ago I you know I started my music business and I did start earning money but and I and I was trying the the agency stuff but I wasn't focusing on the inputs as much as I should have you know I really wasn't doing everything I wasn't making it inevitable for me to succeed okay so I wasn't doing that um so I did I had the affirmations and then I I discovered the inputs which is like I essentially just needed to do more outreach and higher quality outreach with my um with my for my business and that's what literally took me you know what I mean so that was the inputs like the affirmations helped me discover the inputs and then the inputs were the things that I really needed to focus on to help myself grow so affirmations focus on input and align yourself daily with these things right and just keep yourself in check like like make it like make this something that you are dedicating yourself to and you will re- you will start to see things unfold before your eyes like like your ultimate reality will start unfolding it will start unfolding and crystallizing right before you because you are going to be making better decisions which is ultimately what's going to get you there okay so the vid- the camera's going to die once again but i just wanted to just really ramble on podcast style let you know what's been what's been going on i just ultimately i just i just want ultimately i just want you to achieve your ultimate potential i want you to live your best life your dream life and i just wanted to document some of my journey of you know how i got here like how i literally quantum leap like crazy so as you can see by speaking to myself the shift happened right the shift happened by by speaking to myself from my ultimate self right from my future self by speaking to myself from my future self i became essentially my own master right like i i became like my own coach and this is what enabled me to achieve new heights enabled me to manifest right to to manifest the my goals right so by speaking to myself from my future self that is how i was able to make the shift the quantum leap peace oh please keep your mind at ease it's obvious let me know what you think uh was the most what stood out to you the most about what i what i talked about and maybe maybe even comment what you've been struggling with because I'm very interested to know where you guys are at, where you're at. Um, and yeah, like this, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you soon. Okay? Peace out. Please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.